Hey guys, it's me, Jake, from JakeMan21642. Today I've got a video for you of this 2007 Infiniti G35X. This one is finished off in a graphite blue exterior, which looks great on the vehicle. Outside you can see, obviously, this one is riding on a set of aftermarket wheels. But outside, this one does have your chrome trim around the windows, body-colored door handles with intelligent entry built in, as well as your body-colored mirrors. Up top, this one is equipped with a sunroof, and you do have your radio antenna right there. Around the rear, you can see your dual exhaust down below, Infiniti and G35X. So this is a all-wheel drive model. And I do apologize about the pollen on the vehicle. This was cleaned yesterday, and that's just how bad the pollen is right now. It's kind of unavoidable. Back here, you do have your intelligent entry release on the trunk. Just press, have the key fob with you, and it will open. Fuel cap is on the passenger side. Just come up. Press right there, and it will release it. And down below, like I said, this one is riding on some aftermarket wheels. They are chrome wheels, 20 inch, and they are riding on Nexen tires. They are P245, 35, ZR20s. So, like I said, 20 inch chrome wheels, rear disc brakes, of course. And up front, this one does have projector headlights and your typical Infinity chrome grill. Get in and start it up. Does include your typical Infinity Intelligent Entry key with lock, unlock, trunk release, and panic. You can also press and hold on the key and it will pop the trunk. As I said, Intelligent Entry, just come up to the door, have the key fob with you. Press to unlock, press twice, and it will unlock all four doors. And then press again, and it will lock them. Inside, this one does have the gray leather interior, which is in great shape. You have your Infinity badges on the seats. Also, full power driver's seat down below. Infinity door sills as well. And to start, just put your foot on the brake and press right here. And just have the key fob in the vehicle and you're good to go. There actually is a slot down here to place it. Inside you do have a leather wrap steering wheel, your cruise control, as well as audio system and Bluetooth phone controls on the wheel. Typical Infinity, nice and tight power steering. The gauges in the middle do have your engine temperature, your tachometer, speedometer, and fuel gauge down there. This one does only have 123,000 miles on it. No warning lights or anything, that's just the TPMS light, and I bet it's due to these aftermarket wheels. Probably don't have TPMS sensors in them, or um, just need to be recalibrated. Over here, you have your gauge dimmer control, as well as your start-stop button on this side, other different gauge controls. And typical of these Infinities, it does have a power steering column, which the gauges will raise and lower with the steering wheel. You can also telescope it, power. On the door, all padded material up top, padded leather down here. You do have all of your automatic windows, power locks, power mirrors, your power seat memory, VDC on and off, trunk release. On the dash itself, it's all soft touch, high quality material. It feels and looks great. In the middle, you have uh, your audio system, navigation, all of that will show up on this display. It can act as a touch screen as well, or you can control it from all of these buttons. But like I said, it does have nav. Go to your phone, info, settings, Bluetooth, all of that. Go back to your radio. This one has a great sounding audio system. All of your aluminum trim around here follows through on the dash and meets up at the door. But all the aluminum trim, your analog clock in the middle, as well as your CD player. Dual zone automatic climate control down below. Very nice, simple to use. You have a compact flash slot as well. Storage up front, cigarette lighter, and a uh, ashtray. This one, of course, is a non-smoker. And back here is the shifter for your automatic transmission. Manual mode, all of that. Do have your heated seat controls back here, snow mode on and off, and some storage. Padded armrest in the middle. Storage inside of there with your AV in, as well as a power outlet. Seats in this vehicle are very comfortable, typical Infinity, and the leather's in good shape. Perforated leather in the middle, as I showed your Infinity badging up top. Sunroof, as well as your interior lighting controls, sunroof controls, and right here, your sunglasses container. 
Auto dimming rear view mirror with your garage home link built in, compass up in the corner. Overall, this interior is a very nice place to be. Go ahead and step out. Driver's side automatic window down. The trunk and the hood. Inside the rear seat, everything follows through on the door. Padded material, padded leather. The rear seat is insanely clean. I am 6'2". The seat's actually further back than I would sit, and I can still sit behind myself comfortably. It's a very nice car for hauling people. Comfortable rear seat. You have a armrest in the middle. Cup holders. And this can access the trunk as the pass-through. Back seat pockets on each side, of course. As well as two air vents, some storage, more storage down below. As I said, all your material qualities follow through with the aluminum padded material. And your lighting up top. Inside of the trunk, plenty of storage space. You have your six disc CD changer up here. You can eject the cartridge just like that, load it. But plenty of space. It does include also your storage net right there and below all of that you'd have your spare tire jack storage and everything else and follows through over here and up front you have a power passenger seat as well as inside of the glove box. This one includes all of your owner's literature, everything inside of here. It's a very well-documented car. Go ahead, put the headlights on. And up front you can see projector HID headlights. And under the hood, this one does have Infiniti's VQ35 DE engine. So this is a 3.5 liter V6. Everything under here is in great shape. Running great as well. Very nice power with this vehicle. And with the added stability of the all-wheel drive in this X model. Bring the automatic driver's side window back up. Cut it off right here. Wheel chime, reminding you to put the headlights back in automatic mode. Remove the key. As always, this G35 is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.